Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. This video is going to be about Poppy and Mars Argo, but it's going to explore why Poppy will never apologize to Mars Argo. And it's not clickbait in case you're wondering. So in yesterday's video, I spoke a little bit about the settlement of the lawsuit and how Alex didn't break it. Just a spoiler for yesterday's video if you haven't seen it. But I wanted to go back into the settlement to some degree, and I wanted to focus on the bit that says, if the settling parties need to communicate, all communications should be through counsel of the settling parties as indicated in the notes section below. Uh, sheets on the one hand and the individual defendants on the other. Now, I'm not a lawyer or anything, not even close, haven't even studied anything to do with it, but in my mind that says to me that they aren't really allowed to communicate, and especially not publicly, like Poppy is allowed to say stuff about Mars or Brittany and neither's Corey. And so that would be why although Poppy alluded to uh, Corey's former partner or creative partner or whatever she said, uh, she didn't actually name Brittany, otherwise that would have gone against the settlement. And because of this, you will never see something like Poppy making a statement saying, I apologise to Mars Argo, or something to that extent, purely because she, uh, as per the settlement, she can't to my understanding uh, she may do it privately i think from what i understand from what that says that they can communicate uh privately but only if they go through a certain process and so she may apologize privately but that doesn't mean that she will come out and say i'm sorry mars argo for such and such now people have been saying that she should apologize to Mars and stuff. And I agree, it was it's strange really that uh Poppy was so on the side of Titanic and then she's gone and said that actually the same thing has been happening to her. There's a there's a few different ways to look at it. You could say that that's strange, which I, I think it is. I mean, why didn't she say uh that she understands rather than trying to say that Mars had been working with someone who had previously abused her, which if the documents are to be believed, isn't true. The court documents do imply that uh, Mariah wasn't uh, abused, as she said, by said person. So it can be a bit strange seeing that she made the statement saying that uh, that she had been through that and that Mars was now working with that person. But another side of that could be, and it's also been said, that maybe Titanic actually wrote that statement and that Poppy didn't have much of a say in it and that could be part of potential manipulation. Or maybe they just want to keep their brand, you know. But it does seem a bit strange that she would then come out and say that she had been through similar experiences or the same experiences as Mars, but not say that she is sorry for uh, the previous statement where she alluded to it being false, uh, but... As I've stated, uh, she can't, well, she at least she can't say, I'm sorry, Marzago, at least publicly, from my understanding. Sorry, I went off on a tangent, but hopefully that makes sense to you. That's all I really want to talk about in this video. I'm not in the habit of dragging things out to being 10 minutes long for bloody something. I was going to say ad revenue, but whatever reason people drag things out for 10 minutes, I think it's to get better watch time or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not in the habit of doing that, uh, so I'm just going to end this here and say thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you never want to miss an upload. I'll see you soon for more content.
Also, let me know in the comments below what you think of this camera. I know it's not uh, quality-wise the best, but I do enjoy recording with it. I can see that like there it's a bit grainy, but I don't know if it's focusing on my face or not. But it allows me to record longer form videos without the potential lag or whatever of the webcam that I usually use. It generally does well, if not better, than the webcam where I first started filming with this recently, which was the Titan Sinclair's brother's uh, Reddit AMA. And that was a lot better lighting. This, I have the light there and the light there, and there's also natural light there, but there isn't enough light in this room to really show the full effect of this camera, unfortunately. But yeah. Just sort of, just so I'd say that. Thanks so much for the support recently. It's been, been insane. Happy New Year. It may be the second day for you if you're in Australia or New Zealand or Tonga or somewhere around here. Uh, but in America, it should be New Year's Day. But yeah, hope you had a good New Year. Um, if you have any resolutions, you know, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I've just gone on another tangent. Uh, Peace.